Hi, my name is Tristy and welcome to day 26 of the 30 day mean stack Honolulu challenge. So um, yesterday we, when we left off, we'd um, glued together our create our list of customers and our new customer button and use that to open our new customer create modal window. So let's um, let's go and have a look at that and see if uh, that's still working. So go to customers, list customers, um, and let's go and have a quick look at our modal. So just click on new customer. And there, there we go. So that's our, our modal window. Um, what I want to do today is just um, clean up this modal window a little bit um, and, and have a look at actually um, creating our first customer. Now, before we can actually create a customer, there's a few steps that we still have to do. So let's, um, let's have a look at what those are. Firstly, um, I want to change the color of this icon here. So in our edit uh, or in our update customer page, we've already changed that to pink so we can add the same class to this icon. And the other thing I want to do is, um, is make this surname field a required field. Um, and lastly, one of the things that we haven't done yet is actually go through and map all of these fields to the controller that we're actually using um, for this modal. Um, and uh, once we've done those, those three things, um, we'll go ahead and create the customer. So just cancel that uh, and let's go back to our create customer client view. Um, and let's go through that in that order. So first of all, we want to make sure that um, when uh, a customer has been referred, when we tick that box, um, we want uh, the icon to appear as pink. So let's have a look at our NG class. Actually, it's the other way around. So it's when, when the customer has been referred, we want it to be primary, so we want it to be blue. When they haven't been referred, we want it to be um, danger. So I'm going to change that from danger to pink and that's just the same as um, what was what we've set up in our CSS over here. Um, so going back, uh, the second thing we want to do is we want to make the surname field a required field. So let's go down to find surname and then what we'll do is we'll just add required to the end. So we're just aligning it to our, um, our update modal. And then the third thing we need to do is make sure that all of our fields, all of our model references, all refer to the right controller that we're wanting to use. So we just copy that um, and just go through and everywhere where we've got references to our, one of our fields, we're just going to prefix that with um, our controller's alias. So first name, we've got surname, We've got suburb, country, phone, keep working down, email, referred, channel, and um, and lastly, we've got industry. We know we've already um, got a reference to our create function for our controller, so that's um, that's more or less. The, the things that we, we need to be able to do. So now that we've done those three things, let's just save um, save that, that page and then we'll go across to our app. So just let that refresh. All right, so let's, um, let's create a customer. So go to new customer. And um, we can see now that we're pink and when we click on that, we're blue, so that's good. Um, and let's add a new um, customer. So um, I'll go with, oops, uh, Donald Duck. Okay, so he's our new customer. Um, and we'll click on save and close. And this sh should create a new customer record for us. All right, so we've hit, we've hit save and close. Uh, the modal window has closed and disappeared, but we don't see our record on our view. So let's go and have a look to see if anything has happened. So going down to our console logs, we can see that the, the last event here is a post, which means that there's been, um, the app has tried to save the record. So the save should have occurred. There's no errors that have been returned here. Um, but where's my data? Well, let's see if the data actually was saved in the database. We can do that by just refreshing the page and just doing another callback to the um, to the database to see if we can grab the most updated data. 
So when we got that, when we've got our data back, there's um, there's Donald Duck. So Donald Duck has returned, but hang on a minute, why wasn't he there before? Now the reason for Donald not being um, present previously when we closed the modal is that we didn't tell the scope, we didn't inform the scope um, that that these customer records live in that there's been an update. Um, and if you're if you're not sort of comfortable with scopes and how they work, I really recommend you go across to um, to angularjs.org and spend some time going through the developer guide and the API reference and, and get a, a, as good an understanding as you can around scopes, around um, the emit and the broadcast um, kind of functions and, and how they work. Um, because one of the things that's, um, that's not available here at the moment is um, a way to actually send a message um, between controllers or between scopes to inform the app what's um, of what's kind of going on. Um, and I will show you how to do that. Um, but there's there's quite a little bit of code involved. So I'm going to leave that till tomorrow and we're going to focus tomorrow on getting that glue um, to send messages kind of using um, kind of a, a, a publication subscription kind of model. Um, to get that piece to work. So if you're familiar with APIs, um, that will start to you know, be, be a little bit more familiar to you. In the meantime, whilst we've still got a little bit of time, um, let's, um, let's have a look at the functions that we haven't yet um, put back into our controllers. Uh, so we go back to our customer's client controller. And if we scroll down, um, let's just have a look at the code that we've got remaining at the bottom here. So. Um, the update existing customer, we've already moved that code over into the customer's update controller. So I can get rid of that. So that can go. Um, at the bottom, we've got this find existing customer, which is with a scope of um, find one, which would go and actually um, query the database for a single customer record and return that. And that works fine if you have a separate view that you're using um, to view customer details. We, we don't need that here because we're using a modal and we're actually just passing customer details between controllers. So between our list of customers and our uh, modal for update, we're just passing the details across. So we don't need that one. Now what that leaves is this remove uh, existing customer function here. So we can just um, grab all of this code so we won't have any remaining code left down here. And we can just go and plug it into our customer's controller. So you can see, even though we split this controller into three, there's still quite a lot going on within this single controller. So let's um, make some room for it and plug it in over here. Okay, now once we've pasted that in, get rid of some of that space, and uh, just, um, just remove um, all of the um, the comments there and we're just going to change a couple things up so like as we have done previously we want to we want to change all these references from scope just to this so we're always going to be in context of a controller so just change all of those to this and this last one here so um, so that's all good. And then this last bit here that's got location.path, what that would have done is when you deleted a customer, it would then um, navigate the user to the customer's list again. Now we're not going to do that. We don't want to navigate the customer anywhere else. We just want to remove those details. So, okay, so let's, um, let's now go and add um, some, some functionality to call this particular function. Um, and we'll do that in the customer's um, customer list template on the list. So for example, we might just display a little trash can over in the corner here. So to do that, um, we'll go in this within this small class. So just af after this span, we'll just add in another span. So we'll go span with a class and the class, all we're going to do is we're just going to pull it across to the right. So pull right so that it's kind of right aligned and within that span um, we'll just put uh, let's say a little button why not um, a button um, 
with a class of button um, button we we'll just make that default so it'll just be sort of a gray kind of color um, and within that button um, we're just gonna have an icon so we'll put in i class oops class equals uh, glyphicon and this time we'll go glyphicon trash there we go and um, you can close off that icon and just get rid of that space and now we just need to put in um, that reference back to our um, our remove function so we just go ng click and we'll go just use the name of the controller um, and then all we have to do is just a dot remove now but when we do the remove we need to tell it what to remove so we'll pass it through the details of a selected customer okay so let's just have a look at that so we've got a span we're pulling it to the right we've got a button um, when you click that button it will um, trigger the remove function that's part of the customer's controller and um, on the button it will just um, have an icon um, of a trash can. So let's save that. Go across to our app, just let that refresh. Okay, so we've got a little sort of trash can thing going on there. Um, that button is actually quite large, so we can, uh, if you remember from our bootstrap um, classes, we can make that um, just a small button. So go button small to make that a little bit smaller. So let that refresh. Um, let's just give that a shot, see how that goes. So we click the button and then if we look down on our consoles, we can see uh, we've got an event here of delete. So we can probably safely assume that um, Donald Duck has been deleted. Um, all right, that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Um, tomorrow we're, we're gonna spend some time um, creating a new factory and create a new service to notify um, our different views. So when we create a new customer record, we'll get that to update um, in our list uh, straight away. So um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details and I'll see you tomorrow.